Today, I'm going to show you on how you're going to simplify fractions. I have here five examples of fractions, and I'm going to show you on how you're going to simplify it. So, number one, we have uh, 5 over 15. Uh, many of the students can find the answer easily by reducing the, the, log, the fraction into its lowest term. So, some of you can find that 5 and 15 can be divided by 5. So, but some of you cannot do that. So, with this, I'm going to show you how you are going to do the prime factorization so that um, you could find the lowest term of these fractions. For example, we have 5. 5 can be factored as 5 times 1 or simply 5 since it's already a prime number. Uh, 15 can be factored by 15 times 3. So, 5 and 5 can be cancelled since 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, we have 1 here and there. So, the answer will be 1 over 3 or 1 third. Okay? Next, number 2, we have 12 over 15. 12 can be factored by, by 3 times 4. And 15 can be factored by 5 times 3 or 3 times 5. I'm going to make it um, 3 times 5 para maging magkapantay sila. Since 3 divided by 3 is 1, we will have 1 there. And 1 times 4 will be 4. And 1 times 5 is 5. Okay? Next, in number 3, we have 24 over 40. 24 over 40 or 24 can be factored by 8 times 3. Pero ang sabi ko kanina, dapat prime number, no? Pero 8 is not a prime number. Um, pwede rin siyang gawing 8 for as long as na meron siyang kaparehas doon sa baba na 8 din. Eh, ang 40 naman is 8 times 5. So, ang gagawin mo yung um, 2 times 2 times 2, ganun din sa baba, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Medyo ahaba lang yung iyong solutions at maubusan tayo ng 8 na whiteboard marker. So, okay lang to na 8 times 3 over 8 times 5. So, we can cancel this out and the remaining factors will be 3 and 5 in the denominator. So, the answer is 3 over 5. Number 4, we have 12 over 36. So, 12 can be factored by pwede siyang 4 times 3, pwede siyang 2 times 6. Or, pero, ang gagawin ko, um, pinakamadali ay 12. Kasi, kukunin mo yung pinaka greatest common factor nila. So, 36 is um, 12 times 3. So, we can cancel 12 and 12, so we will have 1 there. So, that will be 1 over 3. Okay? And number 5, 29 over 35. Um, 29 is already a, a prime number, so hindi mo na siya mapapaktor aside from 29 times 1, no? So, just write it as 29. Over 35 can be factored by or as 7 times 5. But then, if you will factor it out like that, wala ka pa rin makakancel since walang common factor sa kanila. So, with that, you will just remain it as um, 35. So, hindi mo na pwede siyang ma-reduce to its lowest term because 29 over 35 is already in its lowest term. So, I hope you, um, you learn from my topic for today. So, it's all about simplifying fractions. It's very important for you to be able to come up or to, to follow some lessons in algebra and even in calculus, in geometry, or in statistics which are which will include uh, fractions parents so i hope you learned something thank you bye bye